What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Yaya Roche and her mom Selah, and we are finally doing the update. We're like, what? Three, three months? months? Three months behind. We're supposed yeah. to do oh, a one wait. month update. Two months behind. Yeah, we're supposed to do what? If it's been three months, we were gonna do a one month update, so we're two months behind. But here we are. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so we're here finally doing it, but I'm kind of happy that. We kind of waited um, because now I feel like we have more to say since then. It's been about, about three, three months. It's been about three months now. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we have a better update video now. Now I'm be real with y'all. It's been so much going on. We, this video is being recorded on the iPad because my <laughs> phone completely blacked out. Right. And I'm not buying another iPhone right now. Mm. Period. So it's not happening. I don't even have my butterfly backdrop, but y'all know what it is. And <laughs> feel the butterflies in your heart, right? Because we're just trying to give y'all the update, so we're just gonna get right into it because it's not supposed to be a long video at all. Mm -hmm. So, um, but some of the pros go with the cons, so just follow along, yeah. Yes. All, right. all right, so we're gonna get right into it. The first thing that we will say, and this is kind of like a pro and a con, we were saying was the dental, dental hygiene. hygiene, yeah. The dental hygiene, okay, y'all, it's a pro because now you're kind of like. Focusing more on your mouth and I guess you would say the overall upkeep, which is a good thing But the con would be you know, you're like constantly having to be conscious of the fact that you got to keep your teeth clean <laughs> so yeah. uh, unlike before um, I didn't have to worry about Constantly flossing, flossing. for one or for one example you floss after every almost after single every meal. meal Yes, so I I've been joking with her saying floss is the new bay because I I'm always with my flaws. Yeah. Flaws is with me constantly. So it, it can be annoying, but it is, it can be good and bad. Yeah. You also with that, um, I think, I forgot who told us this. I think it was the doctor. Um, when you do come home after everything, uh, the toothpaste that you get is pretty specific. They recommend that you don't get any whitening toothpaste. Yeah. So um, we did have to kind of go up on the price with our toothpaste that we normally get. So that's something to keep um, in mind. And I'm actually going to show you guys what toothpaste that I use. Yeah. Because um, it doesn't have whitening. And it helped me because I had a lot of gum swelling after the procedure. Um, and I've been using that ever since. Yeah, and I use a different toothpaste. But I don't think it's um, a big of a deal. Just like Kiana said, just avoid whitening ones. Because they can actually have an adverse, adverse effect on it. And not when you're already white. So it might actually cause some um, tinting or staining. Um, they said stay away from paste. Like you'd rather do gels. And you don't want anything added to it for whitening such as baking sodas or charcoal, or anything that can be abrasive or scratchy to your new dental work. So, all right, so this is the toothpaste that I end up getting. Uh, we actually use two different toothpaste. She did her own research, I did mine. And, <laughs> and so we chose kind of like our own toothpaste, but they both don't have whitening. That's, that's all around. And it's a personal preference too. You know, I like uh, just the minty stuff and she does it's the just, gel. Yeah, it's a gel. Go closer so they can oh, see, like, see. I think you gotta flip it. Oh, well, I, I put it upside down. Yeah. The Crest Scope is what she uses. Mm -hmm. And then the floss that she uses. We use a different floss. I'll show that. Floss. I'll explain these later. But go ahead. So the one I use, um, it is it is kind of expensive. This is why I ate out with y'all. But <laughs> this is what I use. It's the Crest Gum Detective detoxify deep clean but we're still the press family we are. <laughs> <laughs> but i highly recommend this one because i had a lot of gum swelling after procedure and when i'm telling y'all my mouth went from to like a normal size after this uh so i use this and then um as far as floss i actually use let me put this down. Yeah. i use i didn't have the box but i use this type of floss Oh yeah, those little picks are lifesavers because they're good to have just on hand, just on hand when you need to get in there really quickly and not be like extra inappropriate uh, exactly. or dramatic. And then also with with uh, these veneers, things get stuck in your teeth a lot. So this part of this blouse has this pointy part, and you're able to kind of like get align your the bottom half. So I highly recommend these because you really do floss a lot. And um, mm -hmm. I think they're like, I got like a pack of 100 for like $2. Or yeah, they're really inexpensive. Yeah. Now, I brought these because 
not all floss is created the same. Oh my God. So you'll learn really quickly that uh, you are either a, you are either a wax, wait, is it this a wax one? I might mix them up, it don't matter. But one is uh, like waxy and easy to get through the teeth. And then one is like matte or just stringy and it shreds in between teeth. So I prefer this one over this one, but they both get the job done and I keep them on hand in my bag as I go out. So she's old school and I'm new school. She used the old school <laughs> floss like this and I, I used do. the one where you just... <laughs> I use the little picks too sometimes, but yes, yes. So, if, so the next thing I would say is a pro is confidence. That comes with it. Um, finally having your teeth done, especially if you're someone who's watching this and you're looking forward to get your teeth done or after maintenance, then there's a confidence that comes with having your teeth finally straight that it's not really anything that I can really explain to you. It's just kind of there like, whoa. And that confidence grows. It comes uh, along the way because when we first got our teeth done, I, I did not like my teeth instantly. I had to get used to seeing myself with a brighter, whiter, straighter smile and bigger teeth because no matter how your teeth are they're putting something on top of your actual tooth and they're going to be a little larger so just getting used to looking at yourself with a new smile takes may take some time for some people everybody's different kiana loved herself almost instantly not instantly but almost instantly so that confidence like, who this who this right. and so down here it says um you can't just eat what you want well, you can, but... You can, but, but... This is what I feel like with the, it's with the eating oh what you goodness. want. You can eat what you want, but this is how I kind of consider it. Let's say the teeth are supposed to last 10 to 15 years. Each time you eat something you're not supposed to, I feel like it's kind of like... Reducing you short, You're reducing the spam because I've spoken to people with um, veneers, and um, they told me that certain experience about them not lasting long, as long as they wanted them to, but because of the things that they were eating... Which actually brings us to... My mom got a chipped tooth. Y'all, listen. I thought I was going to die. I was like, I did not go all the way to Columbia <laughs> and pay all that money for my tooth to be chipped. I, I had a whole meltdown. So, here's the good thing. The Tell good thing is... <laughs> I don't even know. So, what I believe is, I think I grind in my sleep or clench in my sleep. So remember we were talking about having braces, having an overbite. I still have an overbite. So my chip is on a, sm a small portion of a, a lower tooth. And I think that lower tooth hit the back of an upper tooth that it goes behind. And so I think I clench or grind in my sleep. And that's another probably con because some of you may have to get a mouth yeah. guard to sleep in. And they're in. like $4, so yeah. I recommend that. But the good thing about my chip is you can't really see it unless you all in my mouth and you shouldn't be that close to me. Okay. Also, what I did like, because I asked my mom that she reached out to Dr. Montoya yeah. concerning the chip. And, um, he replied immediately. And what's so beautiful about that is I know a lot of people on his page, they're like, he never replies, he never replies. Well, he know we pay him some money. So he applied. He replied immediately. He told me what I could do. And there was um, support here in the US that I could get. And it's a quick fix. They can just put some more material right on that too and have it uh, repaired just like that. So it's not the biggest thing, but just to segue back on can't eat what you want, you want to be mindful of biting into things. Just like when we have braces, we're mm -hmm. kind of used to that. Uh, adapting to not just biting into something. Somebody asked, can you bite into an apple? Well, yeah, but will I? No, no boo. Yeah. I, I pay too much I, um, <laughs> I bite into certain things, but it just depends on what I want. I don't think she does, but I do. I bite into certain things. Uh, something I need to stop doing is I eat ice. And that's like one of the main things. She, she, know, she did not see confession time. <laughs> Yeah, don't be eating ice. I eat ice, and um, that's so. That's funny. like the one of the things he said. He said, "Don't eat ice." Your iron is low, baby. And I eat ice. Uh, I don't eat it all the time. I just eat it like whenever I feel like it. But what I have done to kind of like help me be able to kind of eat it without it being like 
eating a cube. I just kind of like uh, get the shredded ice, I guess you say. The yeah. soft ice. That's from like the like thorns from the gas yeah, station. Yeah, that's like a slushy. Like if you're someone who really likes ice. That's get the just, soft ice. The good get soft the one ice. from like the gas station that's yeah. like crushed. But don't just eat ice cubes because sometimes, one time I was eating ice cubes, I was like, did I buy my teeth? Like, <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> Play it with fire. So, but yeah. yeah, so you don't want to bite into anything hard. You want to try to cut it up and put it in your mouth. Also, staining. You can have staining from what you eat or drink. Uh, curry. Yeah, <laughs> you can still a- eat curry. Just rinse your mouth, brush your teeth quickly after. Um, coffee. We're not coffee drinkers. Smoker. Um, I, we don't smoke, but all of those things can stain your teeth. So you want to be mindful of that too. Eating something hard and staining teeth. Because again, we have a mix. Uh, there, You can get veneers that are all porcelain and they're not going to stain. They're like the toilet bowl. Okay, they're going to stay white forever, um, almost forever. But they have a longer uh, longevity, like, I don't know, 30 years, 20, 30 years. These are a mix of the uh, composite resin material and porcelain. I think it's 80, 20 or something like that. Yeah. But the point is it doesn't last as long. It's porous. Porous means it has holes or fine holes and it can um, absorb stains or things can get into it. So it can last about 10 years or so, just depending on how you take care. So basically you just wanna make sure that you're taking care of your teeth. Overall, we have not had any, and it's been about three months, we haven't had any um, stains or anything no. like that. I haven't had any issues. Another negative that I wanted to talk about is something I really, really don't I'm like, this is that they, when they do your teeth, they do like the front. So the inside of your mouth, True that, true that. It's not done. Yeah. And to me, I don't like that because <laughs> it hasn't really affected me in taking pictures or talking or anything like that. Because your mouth shouldn't be open that wide. <laughs> but if your mouth is open that wide, like, you can see that. You could see your old teeth. And yeah. if your old teeth are, are yellow. Mine are. <laughs> it's these super yeah, white, you can teeth, see it. white teeth because they're white. And then you see the inside being yeah, slightly inside yellow. Like yellow. So I don't necessarily like that. I don't, I don't like that either. I don't know how that is. If it's with porcelain yeah. veneers, it's the same. But as far as these, I don't necessarily like that. So that's something to keep in mind because I didn't realize like it's almost like oil and water like you can see where a line of demarcation like a difference between the two and it's on one tooth so that one tooth on the outside you see the white layering it but then on the inside or the flat portion of it you can see where it's off color or whatever but for two months because this is month three finally i was having um what is it like hot cold sensitivity and i would it would like like it was hitting a nerve. Like I would eat things and the hot and cold would go straight through my tooth. And I just felt like, oh Lord, I pray this stops because I don't want to have to live with that forever. So thankfully my mouth adjusted. And I did hear a dentist tell me before um, that when you get material on your tooth, whether it's for a filling or for veneer, your body has to adjust to the fact that new material is in your mouth. And sometimes pain sensors are triggered and it uh it is felt in the it felt such as hot or cold sensitivity if that makes any sense so it went away yeah and i didn't i didn't have that so again that even goes back to when you get your teeth done it's gonna be different for everybody be because i didn't experience that um another a positive i will say is that uh, when i first got my teeth done as her well as her for for me, for about a month and a half, I did have a lisp. Yeah, a lisp. I had that I don't on there. A lisp. lisp. <laughs> I had it, and it, it wasn't cute. Mm-mm. You spitting. You trying to control your your saliva as you speak. <laughs> so yeah, I was it, learning how to talk and learning how to pronounce certain words like the S's and T's. It took until about now for me to get used to doing that. So I had a lisp, and so did she. And this is month number three, and we're doing a lot better with being able to talk yeah. without feeling like marbles are all in your mouth or whatever. So it's definitely so that's takes like some a adapting pro, to. A pro, a pro yeah. is that it goes away. A con is that you gotta go the process. Through. Of <laughs> you gotta go through that process. Getting kind of like used to that. And I want. Uh, let's see. And just looking slightly different, having to get used to your new smile and people. Oh my gosh. So. 
the people that know you, because we, of course, shared our story on uh, our social media yeah. pages, Instagram and stuff. So when they see you in person, they're like, let me see your teeth. Let me see your teeth. They this close to your face. And I don't think anybody wants anybody that close to their face trying to inspect anything on them. So that's awkward and uncomfortable because you're like, uh, can we just be normal? Like, can you back up off me? But I get it. Everybody's curious and uh, what have you. So just getting used to all of that. But on a normal basis, people that don't know you, that don't know that you had it done, there's there's no difference. They may say, oh, you have a pretty smile or, wow, your your teeth are so nice and bright. I think for her it was a con, but a pro to me is I like how white my smile is. I feel like it um, goes good with my complexion, and um, I, I just feel like it's not too bright because I've seen people with veneers before, and I was like, <laughs> and I've seen people, no, I've just seen people with who have gotten them done, and they are so bright, and it just it's just not cute to me. So I like them also because when I am out in public for people who don't know, um, when a lot of times they compliment my smile, but it's, they, they'll ask me, they're like, who did you go to for your braces? But because my teeth, they look natural. Um, so at first my teeth to me, I was like, oh, they're kind of bright. But um, now that I've had time with them, I feel like they're the perfect type of bright because over time, I think they do get um, toned down a little bit would you say down yeah um a bit so a positive for me was the the whiteness of my smile but for you i hated it i hated it. i still do um we are different skin tones can you tell <laughs> if you didn't notice and i love her brown skin and so anyway with me uh uh-uh. uh uh that was one of the biggest shockers when i got out of the dental chair i was just like these are so bright white they're so they're blinding and they look fake so for me it it took a lot of adapt adapting to just getting used to seeing just bright bright white teeth and, and i guess you've noticed how yellow how not white your real teeth are i started looking at videos and comparing and I, now i am learning to appreciate it but i'm still getting used to it. i think mine are brighter than yours you see that I think hers are. You see that? I told y'all I wasn't making this up. <laughs> he gave me that extra highlight. <laughs> they did ask me though, so I do want to tell you that. But it's oh, kinda... they didn't ask me. See, they, they should have ask asked you. They you were know? like, <laughs> he was like, I think this will look good on your skin because this is your color. Oh, yeah, why you so got the dog like that though? He was like, I do not <laughs> want it too bright because it will not look good with your skin. And so he just gave me this color, and I was like, "This is perfect. racist." And he asked me. He said, "When he when he was finished, like with half of my smile, he said, is this good or do you want it brighter?'" And I was like, "That looks so." Nice. They asked you. So they asked. But no, you, they, they didn't. Have no, your mouth. my mouth was like done almost. <laughs> like I think I had two teeth left. The lady that was helping me, she put one on. Oh, see, I didn't go through. But that. this is what you should. It doesn't help you because if you put one tooth on my, it's like a fingernail on top of your nail. You put one on there, and you're like, is this good, me, being, being? And you're like, I guess, I trust y'all. I mean, what do I know? Yeah, see, I guess. And then so she, she just kept yes, going. She said yes, y'all. Yeah. Basically, this is what she told y'all. She yeah. said yes. I did. I was like, uh-uh. I was in pain, y'all. I was, I was delusional. So I anyway. they look good, but. Thank you, but Yours? I, yes. <laughs> I think they look good. So anyway, so. Yeah, and I think anything that you can do to help yourself feel better about yourself, but you got to do the mental work first because it doesn't matter what you change on your body. Like I said in the last video, if your mindset ain't right and you didn't do the mental work to heal your heart concerning how you love yourself, it don't matter. Get a new booty, get everything new. Your, your what life you can up. do in Colombia too. Colombia, <laughs> give you a whole new body, whole new thing. Something that I want to address that I, I didn't get to address in the, our first video because the video was so long because I was trying to get tell y'all everything that you could know and I wanted y'all to see everything, which I'm glad I did it like that because I get so many inboxes from you guys which i appreciate of just saying i watched the video i feel like i know everything yeah and that's I, that that makes good. me happy because i was like so uncomfortable with the video being almost 40 minutes i was like this is ridiculous but it's good to answer questions for others because just like us before we went we were trying to find information online to just see who could give us a good grasp of how everything is going to go so so we are thankful that we were able to help with that. Right. But what I wanted to address just further in detail 
was an experience that happened while we were there that I didn't really get to talk much on one because I had a really good experience overall with Dr. Mario Montoya and I didn't know how to express it in the way that it should and the video was already long so I actually ended up cutting out that part but basically what I wanted to talk about was the fact that we were quoted a price so let's say we were quoted I don't know, sixty five hundred. Sixty five hundred dollars because, because we were together. We were together, right? We were quoted that amount. We had that amount in our bank account. Whatever, whatever. We were told that was the price. Once we arrived to Columbia, um, we were taken upstairs to his main office, and that's where you meet with Dr. Mario Montoya, which you see in the first first video where he's examining our teeth. He examines our teeth for like a few minutes and then he tells us basically that we both you need more money. We both <laughs> need to pay like an extra almost fifteen hundred dollars. Who got that? So he quoted me sixty five hundred. So you know what I had? Sixty five hundred. Right. Not and that's five hundred and one dollars. Nah. Uh. <laughs> sixty five hundred. Plus you had to call your bank. We had to call our bank and make certain arrangements for them to release those funds and they acted like it was their money and it was a lot of flips and turns right. and headaches. So, now, I know it was to protect us, but I'm saying yeah. I say it was a lot to uh, go to the through the process of getting the 6500 approved. Exactly. So once now. we got there and they were talking, he was saying another $1,500. I was literally both were devastated. We were crying. Well, actually, it hurts was more. This is a side note. It's definitely upsetting um, because we were like, this is what we brought. We came all the way over here. And the option that he was giving us to resolve it was basically him saying, just wipe your card and then handle it later. What? What? And so I, in that moment, I realized that. <laughs> I was like, one time. No, don't we were get actually going to Because I'm from the hood. Don't get cut. Don't let my pretty face fool you. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's not upset. what happened. But I we, almost did. I kept looking at her like, what you want to do? Well, she, yeah, she <laughs> grabbed her bag. So we were about to leave. <laughs> I'm, and I didn't tell y'all this. Cause... I'm like, you say we need 12? Mira. Just give me 10. I'm good. But I'm looking at her like, hey. I was there like this. This my baby. You playing. We all almost about like, to cry. I'm going to fight like, you. So, like, tell me what you want. So, so then, yeah. we, um, the good thing is, um, he, he's very nice. Oh, he really he is. He really, he ended up working with us or whatever because Beto, we didn't have that. Beto. So, he did end up no working. No He ended up working with us. But when we talked to some other people, there was about five other people that got their teeth done that day. We talked to them, and all of them went through the same thing. So I'm saying that to say, with Dr. Mario Montoya, if the price is, let's say he quotes you $6,500, you pretty much need to prepare to bring an extra $500 to $1,000. To a thousand. Cause I, and I want to clarify that, my bad. I was, I was told, quoted to pay an extra Fifteen hundred. She was only quoted a thousand, I think, because I think I because she needed less. She needed less work. Okay. I can't remember. She needed less work. Uh, done. I had to get like top and bottom gum contouring, etc. But I'm saying that to say I don't want you to go through like what we did. Don't be prepared. We, we yeah. were prepared because we were quoted according to what we thought. But yeah. since we got there and how they do it, apparently once you get there, they get a better examination of your mouth yeah because you get before you go there you send pictures and yeah, so he's giving you a general quote based on those pictures oh yeah so i just wanted to let you guys know um that that was something that happened to us while we we're there that i did not like it was a con um, it was definitely a con and i just want you guys to be fully aware um because as i spoke to other people that were there that had the had same similar same thing they were saying that they had to call certain family phone a friend yeah phone a friend to get the money um some of the guys they were just like we got money so they just make it rain like, on my two thousand extra and i was like nah bro anyway so let me tell y'all that so uh that was honestly pretty much it again we don't want this to be a long video um we I just wanted to <laughs> we just wanted to come and give you guys a update Updates. on our teeth and what's going on we're gonna try and have do another one later. Yeah, we'll try and do another one later. Um, not not right now because, I mean. We got Rona, we got Rias. Rona and Rias. Mira, we cannot do it. No, no, quiero, no puedo, no nothing. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, 
that's it again like comment and subscribe if you have any questions i have my mom's instagram tag say below la, say la vie. and i have my instagram tag below and again comment and we'll answer them and stay blessed